Hello everyone and welcome to my video. In today's video I'll show you how to use Puppeteer, what is Puppeteer, and build a small project where we scrape all of those titles from a website and use website fully automatically. So let's get started. So first of all go ahead and click the link down in the description and you should be redirected to this Puppeteer documentation site. So what is Puppeteer you ask? Well Puppeteer is a node library which provides us an API that we can use to control Chrome or Chromium over the DevTools protocol. So let's see an example right here. We are requiring Puppeteer, then we are opening a new browser. From that browser we are opening a new page and then we are redirecting to a specific URL. So let's go ahead and use that. I'll open a new folder and open command line on that folder. And first of all, we will do npm init y to create a package.json. And then we will do code dot to open that folder on our Visual Studio code. If you're using any other code editor, that doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and open that folder to your code editor. Now what we will do, of course, is create a, the node.js file. I name it index.js and go back to the documentation, copy paste this code. Of course, I'll delete the screenshot method because we don't want to create any screenshots. And I'll replace this URL with the URL that I want to scrape. Now we will use another method called dollar dollar evaluate. And what it does is it, we pass a selector, an element selector. And he gets those elements. And then from those elements, we can map them and get the text from them. So let me show you how that works. First of all, we will create a new value and that will be titles. And then equals to await page dot dollar dollar eval. And then as you see, we have to pass a selector. How do you find that selector? First of all, go to the website that you want to scrape. Now do right click and then inspect. Click on the top left right here. And go ahead and hover over the element that you want to scribe. So I want to scrape those titles. Now, as you see, this title doesn't have a class name, so we cannot really scrape it, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just go to the above one that has a title, that has a class name, and all we have to do is get the text inside this title. So it doesn't really matter if we get the A tag or the A3 tag. So I'll copy paste that class right here. So create a new string to dot and then the class name, then comma, and then I'll create the arrow function. Inside this arrow function, I'll pass the element. You can pass whatever name you'd like, it doesn't really matter. And then we will do element dot maps dot map. So, so we will do elements because we want to do the elements dot map and for every element we want to do element dot inner text to get the text from that element now our next step is to do console.log to log the result from those titles and before I run the code so before we run the code I have to pass something here and that will be an option 
and our option is to wait until and we want to wait until network idle 2 so what that does you ask well when we want to navigate to a certain url we want to wait the website to load until we go to our next function otherwise we will not be able to see those elements so now we wait until the browser loads and then we go to the next function right here so let's go ahead before we run the code again we have to download that module so I'll go back to the documentation scroll up and click right here to copy it I'll go back to my command line and paste it so we successfully installed our module now let's go ahead and do node index.js to run our code it takes some time to get a result as okay we got undefined why did we go undefined okay so i know why we got undefined actually we want to do instead this right here so we get those elements then map them and then get the inner text i kind of did it wrong but let's rerun the code and before i run the code what we can do is go to the dot launch and pass it an option and that option is headless and we want to do headless false and that way we can see what's going on in the browser so i'll rerun the code and as you see we successfully got those titles so i hope you enjoyed please make sure you share this video and subscribe it will really help me a ton i'm trying to reach those 1000 subscribers so i can start monetizing my videos and invest everything back onto this channel so bye bye